So, all right, let's start. Um, hi, I'm Song. Um, I'm a PhD student from UC Santa Barbara. Um, in this presentation, I will first give you some background about the geographic data conflation, and then I will introduce a scalable geoprocessing workflow we have built up based on Hadoop and their S3 JS tools. Um, as we know, nowadays, there are a lot of geographic data available to us. In addition to the traditional authority <laughs> data sources, like USGS and US Census, NGA, and the other local government agencies, we also have increasing available geogra volunteer geography information, as well as millions of geotagged data from social media. So in some cases, you may might need to combine multiple sources and to update the geometry or table actual information to existing data sets to support the location intelligence decision making or problem solving. So there are a lot of research about the map conflation and the geographic data conflation. The feature matching is one of the most important process in the conflation. Basically, three aspects including the geometry, the semantics, and the topology should be considered. The linear feature matching is one of the challenging questions in the ge geographic data conflation. So a generic model which considers the directed host of this distance has been proposed. By looking up existing literature, we found that many approach are using greedy algorithms. If you look at a picture of the greedy one, you will find some algorithm actually are problematic because this is only a local optimization. So what we are looking for is actually is a global optimization approach. So Dr. Li and Gucha has proposed their optimized linear feature matching. And the main idea is to maximize their total similarity between all matched feature pairs. Here are four typical data sets in our experiments, which contain both the regular and the irregular shapes of the streets. The real should the algorithm have a very good matching percentage. Because this is a collaboration project between NGA and the USSB, so they asked us to make this tool available to them for evaluation. In this picture, you see that our algorithm's performance better than three other tools, conflation tools in NGA. In past year, we made a transition of this prototype algorithm into the ArcGIS toolbox and to support, further support future potential GS users who need their geography data conflation. <laughs> we also developed our Python code to support the command line interface for batch feature matching. But as their volume of the data sets increasing, this algorithm is a little bit time consuming. So we start thinking about they're speeding up algorithm. Mike has mentioned in his keynote the divide canker that will open the possibility for parallel geographic data conflation. One approach for partitioning the space is the call tree, which is most used in GIS to partition the two dimensional space. And so you need to build a spatial index for these all features in the sub quadrants and then calculate the distance metrics. A second one is a sweeping line-based approach, which is actually used in S3 software for the spatial join. A third one is the object-based approach, which is inconsistent with the ArcGIS shapefile since it's already an object-based data structure. So we can parallelize this asymmetric the calculation of the host of distance metrics in a parallel manner. So the goal is to build a scalable workflow and with a friendly user interface. Here is our system architecture, which contains four parts. We have the data downloader and the Hadoop cluster and the GS client and, and the web user interface. Inside the Hadoop cluster, we also integrate the S3 geometry API, which was released in this April. So it's a very new library for Hadoop. 
we have connected several nodes across different sites, including USB and Arizona State, and also virtual machines from Amazon. So a, a MapReduce programming model has been implemented on our cluster. So for each geoprocessing task, you need to create a mapper to sp split their features, and then run a spatial operation. After that, you need a reducer function to summarize the results. Here is your example of the MapReduce algorithm for the spatial join. So we have built a scalable geoprocession workflow to submit the MapReduce job in ArcGIS environment for conflating millions of Flickr geo geotagged data. In such a design, the traditional GIS users are very familiar with environment and the more easier for them to submit their Hadoop job. Comparing their computation time, even we only have a small number of nodes so far, but their Hadoop-based spatial operation save about half of the time that the PC-based approach used. So for ongoing work, we hope to develop feature conflation tools for CyberGS and also integrating their unstructured data in conflation. So the challenge is uh, how to integrate sensor size and conflate heterogeneous and also in different scales of data from the different kinds of sources. At the last, we want to thank the NGA funding for our project and also the support from the NS CyberGS group. Especially thanks for Dr. Shaolin and Wen Wen, the support for our team. And also, we want to appreciate the discussions and the help from the ASHRAE folks in their GS tours for Hadoop team. And that's all. Thank you very much. Very good.